Hello everybody and welcome to this quick workshop on website cookies. In this video, we'll demystify what they are, why they matter, and how they impact both website users and owners. I'm Jeff Sauer and I am the co-founder of MeasureU.com and I've been doing analytics for quite some time. I've been doing it since 2005, so 20 years now. Um, I was a beta tester of Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, primary marketer for billion dollar brands and I've even taught this at a university level for quite some time. And so I've been doing this for a long time and I love sharing knowledge with all of you about how to become better at measuring your marketing. So what are website cookies really? Well, let's start with a question that we've all probably pondered. We all hear about cookies on browsers and we probably assume that they're bad. But what is a cookie really? Have you ever cleared your cookies on your browser? Did you know what you were deleting or clearing out? What do you think a cookie actually is? Here's an analogy that I like to use. The easiest way to understand cookies is to think of them as sticky notes for your web browser. And websites use them to remember information about you. So imagine you visit a website and you set it to dark mode. Well, a first party cookie is like a sticky note that you leave on your computer that says this person prefers dark mode. So the next time you visit the site, it automatically displays dark mode and remembers your preferences. That's basically what cookies are meant to do. Now, of course, there are different types of cookies. Now, we just talked about a first party cookie and those that are set by the website that you're directly visiting. But third party cookies are like sticky notes left by somebody else, often an advertising company. For example, if you look at sneakers on a website and an ad company, they might leave a third party cookie. And then even when you browse other sites, you might see ads for the same sneakers. And that's where these third party cookies are sharing information between each other in order to target you with ads. Cookies also have different lifespans. Session cookies, those are temporary notes. They're like reminders that the website uses while you're actively on the site and they disappear as soon as you close your browser session. Think of them like short term memory. Now, persistent cookies, on the other hand, are like long term memory. They stay on your device even after you leave the website remembering things like your login information so you don't have to enter it in every single time. And that is not inherently bad because that's pretty useful, especially when you wanna use that site over and over again, and especially if you're using the same computer over and over again. So why do websites use cookies? Well, they serve a few key purposes. For users, cookies improve the browsing experience. They allow websites to remember logins, preferences, and items in your shopping cart. And for site owners, cookies are helping them understand how people use their site, track performance and personalize content and even personalize advertisements. However, there are some downsides to cookies. One major issue is the lack of transparency. Users aren't always aware of all the tracking that's happening behind the scenes. There's also a risk of data misuse. Some cookies, especially third party cookies, can share your browsing information with advertisers, sometimes without your full knowledge or consent, and that can be a problem. And because of these concerns, we've seen new legal regulations like the GDPR and the CCPA, and these laws require that websites get explicit consent from users before using non-essential cookies. And this means websites can't just assume that you're okay with being tracked. They have to ask you for your permission, and they can only really collect that data when permission is granted. And this is where tools like CookieBot by UserCentrics come in. CookieBot helps website owners scan all the cookies on their website, categorize them, and then create a consent banner that gives visitors real choice over their data. And it makes the process easy, ensuring that businesses can stay compliant with privacy laws. And in fact, MeasureU has been working with the user centrics team to help provide education on consent and privacy-led marketing. And so make sure you check them out to see our course and our educational materials and to check out the other videos that we talk about how to use and implement CookieBot for your site as well. And so to wrap up, the next time you see a cookie banner, take a closer look. Is it giving you a genuine choice or is it designed to make you accept all without thinking? And for the website owners watching, I encourage you to review your own site's cookie banner. Think about it this way. Does it clearly and honestly explain what cookies are being used for? And so thank you for watching this workshop on understanding website cookies. I hope you found it useful and that you subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos. If you have further questions, make sure to go visit us at measureyou.com and we will see you in our next workshop.